Thank you. It's my privilege to be here in Gettysburg, hallowed ground where so many lives were given in service to freedom. All right, Clinton and Trump, they are dueling for interviews on Fox News Sunday this morning with a little more than two weeks until Election Day. Millions of Americans already voting. Every major national poll shows Trump with little hope for an election night victory. But his campaign remains focused on traditional swing states. The Clinton organization is expanding to some not so traditional swing states. Jim Osman is a general, media general, D.C. bureau chief, and he joins me now to take a look at some of the shifting demographics across the country. You've been doing this for a long time, Jim, and I say that very respectfully. <laughs> There's a couple states that we've been talking about. We talk, you and I, Arizona, Georgia, right. Utah, even Texas. These are states that were never even up for discussion. And it's not even necessarily that they're up for discussion. It's that the margins are getting smaller and smaller. And they could be up for discussion in 16 days. Well, if you look at Arizona, for example, I mean, there are two reasons why in Arizona. The Latino population is getting larger. They're enrolling more younger Latino voters. But if you also think about it, there's a large Mormon population in Mesa, which is outside of Phoenix. And those voters haven't been all that thrilled with Donald Trump. And so those are the two reasons in, in Arizona. In Texas, I mean, it's a same thing with the, the Latino voter population. I think in Georgia, the African American population has gotten bigger. What about the college educated white vote? Well, I mean, I, I think that. Different story? In this election, let's say, I think that, and this gets to a point we'll make later, is that there are some folks that may have voted for Mitt Romney or may have voted for John McCain who are not all that with Donald Trump and in four years may vote for the Republican nominee again. Okay, so that sort of brings us to the silent majority. Right. We've been seeing that all over headlines that Donald Trump's campaign is saying, listen, they're not getting pulled, but they're going to show up and we're going we're to win this just because you're not predicting it, we're going to win it. Is there any substance to that? Well, I'll give you an anecdotal example, which is um, a woman that I know in Bucks County, Pennsylvania, outside of Philadelphia. I'd asked her to set up a voter panel for us to get a, some women together, women for Clinton, women for Trump. And she got back to me and said, well, I have eight women, four for Clinton, four for Trump. The problem is, is that the four women for Trump don't want to go on camera. And I said, why? And she said to me, she said, well, they're afraid of blowback, pushback from their friends in, in the community. So I think that there may be something to that. However, at the end of campaigns, um, the Republicans may be getting a case of wishful thinking. Right. You know, I mean, they, yeah. people say, oh, we've got this one poll that shows we're winning and the other 30 don't. Right. I mean, I think there's some of that as well. You talked about Pennsylvania. I want to pop up your electoral map prediction so our viewers can take a look. It's safe to say that your electoral map prediction has, has changed. Um, and I think this is the, the Fox News one, but we had, this is yours right here. Correct. When I first looked at this, as we've had you on the show before, I, w I, I just didn't, I was surprised that okay. there was such a discrepancy in these numbers. Well, if, What's you, changed? if you look at the map, well, I think a lot has changed. The, the, the tapes that we saw from Access Hollywood, I think the bottom has kind of fallen out. Um, listen, on that map I have Missouri, and I think there are probably a lot of eyebrows raised on that one. Um, that, that may be an outlier, but I think Arizona, for sure, I think that that's probably going to tip. Georgia's going to tip. Listen, folks like to go with the winner. And in this election, I think that states are starting to tip in that direction. I think around, I, I, that map has about 380 electoral votes. That may be a, a little bit on the, uh, the outside of it. It might be, I think, uh, closer to 350. Because you have North Carolina, you have mm -hmm. Florida, and you have Georgia. Were, those surprised me because, I, if I'm not mistaken, in your last map, they weren't. They were red. Well, in the, in the last map that we had, the one, when I paid a visit in September, they, it was largely a map that, you know, the path that Donald Trump could get. And it was a very narrow one. And, and the, that lane closed, and then it started really open for Hillary Clinton. So that's really what happened, is okay. just that he had some possibilities around Labor Day that just don't exist. Got it. Well, Jim, I think we're going to have you back, hopefully, before the election, because it's very interesting, and we'll see um, how the election votes actually pan out. Good to see you. Thank you so much for joining us. Really interesting. Leland?